Chevelle comes in with a CPU upgrade question. We get a lot of these, and he asks... He says his current PC is a Ryzen 3600 with a 3060 Ti, 16 gigs of DDR4. He's on an Asus B550 Prime Plus motherboard. Will I get a decent performance boost in games at 1440p by swapping to a Ryzen 7 5700X CPU? Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Well, there's a lot to unpack there, but thank you for including all of your specs so I can tell you everything wrong with that computer. 16 gigs of RAM in 2023? Yeah, he needs 32. Well, for he should like, have had 32 back then, but that's a whole different. For like 25 bucks. Well, today. Yes. Yes. He can go to 32. That's a fair point. But right now, it's less than $50. For those of you who don't watch prices, it's less than $50 for 32 gigs of DDR4. Really. There's no reason not to be on 32 gigs in 2023. I don't care if it's an email machine. Yeah. At these prices... He could drop another 16 gigs in there uh, for the cost of a couple of Subway sandwiches. Bob's your uncle. Maybe not even two foot longs these days. Have you seen how expensive this? 1440p on 3060 Ti? We'll get there. Okay. Well, he didn't say what games he's playing. First, I had to comment on the 16 gigs of RAM well, because, yes, I was waiting come on, this is 2023. Get with the program. To everybody watching, I understand why budget builders... A couple years ago, went with 16 gigs. Yeah. I didn't always agree with it, but I understood it. Today, I don't understand it anymore. You can upgrade those things for 25, 30 bucks. So do it. The 3060 Ti doesn't overly bother me so long as he is willing to compromise on detail settings. Now the eight gigs of VRAM on the 3060 Ti are a limitation. For those of you who don't have all these numbers memorized, a 3060 Ti is about 10% slower than a 3070. Yep. It's a great 1080p card. It's okay at 1440p for older games. Or, I mean, honestly, you could run every single game on the market at 1440p if you tweak settings. Turn textures down to higher medium. Yep. Turn shadows down to medium. You'll have to find some mix of custom detail settings, but you'll find something that runs 1440p you on will. that card. You will. I get it. It's fine. Because the 4060 Ti is, what's he supposed to buy? I mean, everything is expensive. Mm -hmm. CPU-wise, yes, absolutely. Drop a 5700X on there. Sell your current CPU or put it into another machine. A 5700X is over a 3600 non-X. You're looking at maybe up to 25% per core performance plus two extra cores. You're looking at a unified L3 cache. You're looking at no quarter core latencies because your 3600 is two three core chips with a PCI Express bus, otherwise known as Affinity Fabric, connecting the two halves together. Whereas the 5700X is a unified monolithic eight core chip and it's a unified L3 32 megabyte cache. Much better configuration, lower latency, faster per core speed, faster clock speed, and you've even got a B550. I mean, exactly. you are rock yep. and roll drop-in upgrade ready. Make sure you update your BIOS before doing so. And Bob's your uncle. And that 5700 Lex will like the 32 gigs of RAM. And I really don't have a huge problem with the 3060 Ti. You know, he doesn't mention his games. But. Just set details to get good performance mm -hmm. and, and enjoy it. But I would totally put a 5700X in there. It's not going to be double the performance, but it should be, you know where it will help more than average frame rates? 1% lows. lows. I was gonna say. The one. machine will be smoother. Yep. Your frame rate will be more even. You'll have fewer stutters. It'll take the micro stutters out of games. Mm -hmm. It'll improve level load times. Yep. It'll improve um, transitions, game update times. All of that. And it will smooth the Your performance updates out. updates will be faster. Yes. Thank you very much for the support and the question. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. 
$15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.